Drug court is so important because it works, especially now with the heroin problem the way it is. Because of the fatal nature of the drug, it's critical that these individuals get into drug court, not just to avoid prison, not just to avoid a felony conviction, but to stay alive. And we have proven that we can do that. It just makes good fiscal sense to have these courts because the cost of the person who's addicted, the medical care that we have to provide for them, the prison incarceration we have to provide, it's going to bankrupt us. And I think we see that. We have individuals who commit violent crimes that have to be punished. We've got people that commit financial crimes that destroy people. We have to prosecute them aggressively. But someone who is recreationally using drugs, uh, you know, we've always criminalized it. And now we see that we've been banging our heads against the wall. And it doesn't work just to lock them up. Unless you change their attitudes, give them counseling, offer them an alternative lifestyle, uh, they're going to revert, they're going to regress, and we're going to see them again, and it'll be th that revolving door at prison. So this is the way out. The compassion is the key to turning the corner. <laughs>